When Keaton was three, he was diagnosed with a stage four Wilms tumor um, that spread to one of his lungs. And then um, in the course of treatment, we found out that he also had a heart defect. We got involved with Make-A-Wish during his treatment. Um, and it was something that he was able to look forward to with his wish granters coming to the house and spending time with him. He'd been camping in RVs with my mom every summer and being able to camp together as a family has been a really big deal for him. Being in the hospital multiple times a week for treatment wouldn't be um, safe for his immune system to be outside. We wouldn't have been able to have those experiences during his illness if we, um, if we hadn't received the wish. Happy wish day! Be shocked. <laughs> you guys want to go camping? Yeah! Yeah! You do! At the reveal, I just remember everybody being there and being so excited to see him and cheering him on. I think it really helped with his self-esteem. We had a refrigerator that we could put his medication in if we needed to. It was personal to my son. Um, it was his experience all the way and um, it was really special. We've gone camping at least over 10 times um, up north and it's been amazing. It didn't matter the weather, he likes to camp at any time. And those are the memories that stuck that he talks about. He doesn't um, often talk about his experience of being sick. We have pictures of him in treatment with a bald head and we have pictures of him camping and those are the ones that he holds on to. I know I was sick. Um, but I got to have this experience with my family and I continue to have this experience with my family, which is really important. So about a year and a half after Keaton was done with uh, his therapies, I came to work at Phoenix Children's um, as a social worker in the Heart Center. And we're trying to um, really get the, the word out um, to families and providers to be able to understand the power of a wish um, and how impactful that is for a lifetime. And we're very grateful to share my son's experience and our family's experience um, and to get other kids the experience of a wish because it's, there's nothing like being in a hospital with pokes and fear and um, sickness and being able to have something to look forward to. It's important to have positive interactions. Um, when we walk into a room, we can provide excitement for or have things to talk about the next time that we see them. He just had a birthday actually. He's reading, he's thriving, he's healthy. Um, he doesn't take any medicine now. He has some pretty cool scars. I think that this experience showed him that it's hard for a kid who's sick to, to not think that this is their fault. But to have something to look forward to because of not despite um, what you're going through is important to remember. And I, we couldn't have manufactured the smiles and the giggles and the jokes and the uh, stories that he has from this that puts a positive spin in, on it instead of identifying as a sick kid. Nobody wants to be the sick kid. We still have these wishes and dreams that maybe you had to miss out on because you've been in the hospital. And I will always for as long as I live, um, talk about Make-A-Wish and um, the brightest light that I can.